Nkhle Nkonyeni, citing her outstanding work in arts and culture. Nkonyeni served the arts industry for more than 50 years. At the time of her death, at the age of 77, she was empowering a younger generation of actors in New Brighton, Port Elizabeth, and the promoting the language of Izzy Koza. The star of the stage and small and big screens was recently honoured with the order of Nkmanga in silver by the president. She used creative arts to fight against apartheid, co-founding the Serpent Players with the likes of John Gani and Athol Fugard in the 60s. The special provincial funeral category is awarded to individuals who are brilliant in their various fields of influence. In this case, it was the arts. Ngonyeni also played a huge role in uplifted community of New Brighton. She appeared on numerous television soapies. We really appreciate, uh, hugely indebted to people of her caliber, uh, the role that she has played under very difficult conditions, sometimes using uh, art to communicate a message which also sought to undermine the then uh, government uh, of the day. So that kind of a risk, not only just uh, acting, the risk involved, uh, that was also carried uh, through, uh, was not an easy thing. Uh, South Africa has been a country of struggle, struggling on almost everything. So she's that kind of a person that we believe as government of Eastern Cape, she uh, deserves it and then we're, that's why we had to apply to president and president has conquered with us. The family has welcomed the state's intervention. We appreciate the confirmation by the premier that we will receive um, a provincial state funeral. It's, it's a relief in, in, in our plannings and all our preparation work. She was talented and God sent her to come and play that, the role that she was created for. And ours would simply to help the government and the family to celebrate God at the end of the day for this wonderful gift. Memorial services will be held in Port Elizabeth and Johannesburg on Wednesday. Her official funeral will take place in Port Elizabeth on Friday. Zolani Moya, SABC News, Port Elizabeth.